more APRS, this time bicycle mobile. I'm using a quarter wave whip on the handlebars, which with the handheld should hopefully get better performance than with just the rubber ducky. I'll go for a ride around and see if this station is good enough to be tracked. Just ahead of me is a mound, so I'll go on top of it and see if that increases my range. home after about an hour of cycling around. Results are mixed. My trip out was generally fairly open through parkland, uh, rivers, that sort of thing, but I came home a different way through suburbia and that's where signals tended to break up. As to what I received, a lot of call signs there, but most are unlikely to be received directly. But interesting that this evening there was a path between VK7 and VK3. Overall with APRS it all depends on how many receiving stations there are around you but generally speaking five watts and an antenna like this, a quarter wave whip, is probably not going to be quite enough for reliable coverage. If you want to find out more about low power amateur radio, check out my book, Minimum QRP. It's available in electronic or paperback form, and it's had many favorable reviews. Find out more on my website, vk3ye.com, or search the title on Amazon.